day 10 of advent calendar opening and I'm excited to do all the advent opening. So let's jump right into it. This is going to be Stitch Co. And it's a really beautiful box that says number 10. You feel like you need some markers to color in this box. It's really pretty. And it's glass head pens. Um, I use a lot of different pens and they're on top of my sewing machine. Um, I sometimes use quilting pens because they're a little bit longer. I've tried these magic pens. Um, I bought them from Emmeline bag. You cannot iron over these two pens. The glass bulbs on the, uh, the quilting pens can pop from the heat and the plastic grip on the magic pens will melt. So what I do is I have several of these pens that are like the glass head pens. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus on it. Use these glass head pens and uh, I, you can iron on them, over them. So I, if you ever look at any of my videos, I usually have like a silver bowl on top of my sewing machine that's magnetic and they're full of pens. I use pens more than people think I do. Um, like when I'm putting in pockets, I'll pin the area that I'm about to sew around versus using double-sided tape. And when I use a lot of uh, woven materials, I use pens because it can just get to areas that magnetic, um, magnetic like so tight or clips can't get to. So I really appreciate that. Glass head pens are not cheap. The a pack like this can easily run ten dollars. Um, so I really appreciate that. Stitch Stitch Supply Co is just banging them out of the park. We have day number 10 and so yours and it looks like we have some extra long rolls gold rivets. These posts are long so I'm thinking it's a large. Um, normally I use a uh, medium or small and sometimes I found like at Tanny Leather the extra small. I love the extra small for little details on the pocket. Like a zipper pocket just gives it that extra chef kiss. Um, but it's always good to have extra long posts in case you have a really thick material like uh, like marine vinyl or leathers that you want to punch through. I am still trying to figure out this part and um, like what, what is this for? Is it like, do you, are you supposed to like place it on the next day? So I, I don't, I'm not too sure. It's like not an eraser. I thought it was an eraser for sure. Yeah. Cause you know, as a kid, you always used to get all these different erasers. Um, I don't know if these are some of the days that we, that are empty that we were supposed to go. Cause this has been in my box since the beginning. <laughs> So it says, please open up package one. I don't know if that was one of the days that we're missing because I don't see, please open up package two. I'm thinking my, my box just got really jostled. Um, okay. Once you completed your calendar, we recommend you opening up the tray box and slide out the tray to make sure there's no items that slid down during shipping. So, um, I'm hoping I get one of these golden or silver tickets. So I'm not going to lie to you. So I don't know if I should open one of these days for the missing days. I don't know. Cause I, this was already slid out. I have every, all the content from the box still in here. Even my receipt. <laughs> you guys tell me, should I open up one of the other boxes? I don't know. I'm going to put this aside and I remember I told you that um, Alpha Max was going to have a FOMO box and it was going to be the 12 days of Frightmas. I love Nightmare Before Christmas and it's one of my favorite cartoon movies because it, it goes into Halloween which I love and into Christmas. You just can't get anything better than that and the music is so beautiful and the characters are amazing and if you are a nightmare before christmas fan you need to get sally the pumpkin queen book holy moly totally eye-opening in her character there's so much depth there's so much story behind her character and it, it it immediately goes after her and jack get married and she becomes the pumpkin queen um 
I want what I want for Christmas so bad is I want to get a tattoo of Jack and Skel Jack Skeleton and Sally on my wrist and then like that hill that curves I want it to look like Oogie Boogie because whenever I think of Jack Skeleton and Sally I think of me and Kendall so but this I will start opening up on the 12 days of Christmas look at how spectacular this wrapping is she sold out on these boxes immediately yesterday when she, they went live and I have one more um that is a Pokemon one that Hope is going to open up for me. I haven't received it yet, so it may be for Christmas or it may be a little bit later for the holidays. But this will start either on Monday or Tuesday when the 12... We have 15 days till Christmas, so when the 12 days start, I'll start opening up this. Um, that is it. If you want any information on any boxes, please leave a comment down below. Share what you opened up today because if we all are reading the comments and it's just good to have that knowledge and just, just having that companionship that we all are doing something a little bit fun. If you don't have a box to open up, put it down there. What box would you want to open up? It With everything that you see, like I keep getting told Fireweed Stitches is on fire. Like it's amazing. So there would or do you want to go like the missouri star route or do you want to go sally tomatoes and or zarell there are so many choices for us now there's even smaller choices like um dritz wash dritz has like a a box it i feel like it's steered more to the not even a beginner like a person that's never sewn like it has like the first notions we get when we we've never sewn before um but it's still it's fun to open up stuff that goes with our passion it's so easy to find other people's passions in advent calendars and it's about time that we start getting them for our sewing i feel like last year was the first time i seen more than three boxes that dealt with just sewing so i appreciate all these um small businesses coming out with them because they're just bringing a little bit of joy in each one of our days life so that is going to be it i'm going to uh, see you tomorrow for day number 11. We're on day number 11. Um, we're going to do day number 11. Write down, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share if you think it's worthy. It tremendously helps our channel and I hope you have a great, great, great weekend and I'll see you real soon. Happy holidays. Bye.